be showing you these lacrosse balls that you can use for the purposes of physical therapy, deep tissue massage, or as an aid and a workout tool for you for your own physical fitness. So let me just show you this bag here. It's got a pull string and inside there are two lacrosse balls. Now the difference with lacrosse balls and other things, if you've ever seen people use tennis balls to give like tissue massages and things with, this is going to, um, it applies more pressure than a tennis ball. It's more firm. So this is made out of solid, firm rubber. So it does have some give. It is rubber, so it's not just, you're not just taking it really hard like wooden ball or something and doing something. So um, it's a great material for deep tissue massage. Now, if you're looking at this and saying, okay, I bought these and I have no idea how to use them, there is an ebook that comes along that will be emailed to you on your Amazon account after you purchase them with suggested things. Now, you can use these as a tool on other people to give massage with, to massage out sore muscles or injured areas, or um, the there's a lot of suggested exercises that you can use this with on yourself, um, either prior to a workout or following a workout or to trigger some sensitive muscles. So different things you can use this for. Um, if you're recovering from an injury, I spent a lot of time in physical therapy for a knee injury and saw these lacrosse balls in there and saw them used on different people and that was effective for them in physical therapy. So I was really excited to get my own set of lacrosse balls. So um, you can enhance flexibility and performance of your muscles by using these. Um, you can apply pressure and be able to reach um, some hard to access points, um, but they're not going to dig into your muscle too deep. You have complete control of how deeply you use these on your own muscles. Um, so it's great for improving the tissue elasticity if you've got areas where you have chronic pain. Okay, and you can really relax your muscles um, by getting into those trigger and pressure points and relax them out. So like I said before, you can use these as a warm up when you're stretching out your muscles to kind of, you know, warm up your muscles there with them or following your workout so you won't be quite as sore if you're really targeting certain muscle groups with them. I'm going to show you um, now in the ebook, it tells you how to get at like your inner thigh, your hip area. Um, just a bunch of different areas that you can use them on, uh, using them for shoulder mobility to increase your shoulder mobility. So there's some pretty cool ones in there. I'm just going to show you a few today. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use on your neck and shoulder blades. And this you can do just with a wall on yourself. You can also use this on somebody else, but you control how much pressure. So that's great. So if you ever do Pilates or any kind of core work where you're crunching forward and you're peeling up that head, neck and shoulders, your neck can tend to get a little sore while your abs are getting strong enough to pull you from here. Sometimes you can get a little pressure on your neck there. I know I do get a sore neck if I'm coming back to some activities that I haven't done recently. And the more that I do them on a regular basis, the less sore my neck gets, but this is a good one for stretching out that neck. So you wanna stand uh, with your back against the wall and the lacrosse ball is going to be in between your neck and the wall. So you start at the base of your neck and you're gonna roll up to the base of your skull. So doing uh, like an assisted wall squat almost, but you're not gonna go down too far. You're just going to bend your knees slowly to roll that ball up. So you can be doing squats at the same time. And you really need to apply enough pressure that the ball's not going to go from side to side. It's going to stay right there. So you roll down until you reach the base of your skull. And then roll back up. And that is really nice on a sore neck. Okay, another variation on that using the wall. Put it behind your shoulder blades. So it's in between your shoulder blade and the wall. And rather than squatting down with your knees, you're just going to roll from side to side. All motions that you do with these should be a slow, controlled motion so that you're constantly in control of how much pressure you're applying on yourself. Another great way to use these is while you're sitting at work. So you've got two balls that you can, there's a lot of exercises that you can use two at once, or you can throw one in your gym bag and one in your desk at work. A lot of people suffer from something called carpal tunnel syndrome, right? We sit and we're typing all day and you can see that it's making these tendons and things and muscles work right here throughout your arm and also can make your wrist sore if you're just sitting in one motion typing all day. So take frequent breaks and just use this just using your hand to roll back and forth 
over your wrist and arm area. Okay, so give yourselves breaks and work out that muscle. And you can really go as low as you need there. Um, this is good for the other side. If you are a rock climber, then you know that you really use this muscle a lot. You can feel sore when you come back from doing some rock climbing. So you can do the same thing on that sore muscle on the other side. Work that out there. Okay. Um, another area you can use this with is on your feet. Maybe you've been on your feet all day or you work as a cashier or something that you're just standing on your feet constantly. You can just put the ball on the ground and using some pressure, you can just roll through your foot there. Uh, give yourself a really nice foot massage. Easy and you can be able to roll around to any areas that you need. You can also be sitting down and use two at once. You can use both your legs at the same time. Okay, the last one that I'm going to show you is a favorite of mine. I love, love, love Pilates. And when I'm doing Pilates, I love to do some booty busting and really target my glutes. So uh, what happens when you do that is that you get a sore bum that you kind of need to pound out. And sometimes those muscles can like tighten up and seize and it's uncomfortable and you need to stretch them out and it hurts so good. Um, this is a great tool to use for that. So if you come down onto the floor, you want to keep your knees up like so and put it underneath your glute muscle. And from here, you can just kind of roll forward so you're sliding it towards your hip and back. And you can really roll out to stretch out that glute muscle and really rub that muscle that's been working there. Um, if you want to intensify this, you can take the leg that is uh, on the same side as the glute muscle that you're currently working and cross it over your other leg. Okay, so that's really gonna open it up there and intensify and stretch out that glute muscle at the same time that you are digging in that pressure. Oh yeah, that is effective. That is gonna feel so good after you've been doing exercise to target glutes. So this is great for your, and then of course, you wanna be even and do both sides. You switch into the other side, but this is great if you'd like to do a lot of high intensity workouts where you just target one area, like today's leg day, or tomorrow is back day, um, or arms, you know, whatever area that you're working, that you can be able to give yourself um, a nice little massage and work out those muscles when you're done to keep yourself from getting sore and to make those muscles looser. And you can actually help them by loosening them up and making them flexible. So a lot of times when you're working those muscles, they just get so tight and they're so sore. Um, so really get them flexible, work them out. These lacrosse balls are awesome. I really like them. Um, they're portable enough. They come in this little bag here that I can throw them in here, take them with me to the gym or wherever I may be working out. If I go work out with my friends to do some Pilates or yoga or something, that we can pull these out and be able to work out our muscles when we're finished. So this is great, totable. You can throw it in your gym bag. Keep one on your desk at work to work those sore feet and sore arms and wrists from carpal tunnel. Um, and you can really improve, improve flexibility. There's some great suggestions for how to get more shoulder rotation using these. So I am still learning how to use mine and really get the most out of them for me. But I am enjoying them, incorporating them into my workout routine and using them for deep tissue massage. And they're really awesome. Great tools. Great for physical therapy use, great for general physical, physical fitness, um, great for massage to really get deeply into the tissues and you can access areas that might be harder to reach because they're a small ball that you can hold in your hand. And you can really do a lot of different things with these and target different muscle areas. So those are these lacrosse balls. I hope that this closer look at them lets you know all the different things or gives you kind of a look of different things you can do with them and what they're like.